Hello and welcome. In this video I will be covering the magic of using VBA arrays to read data in Excel. Over the years I've got countless messages from people who have made their code run exponentially faster by just switching to arrays. Here are just a few. I'm Paul Kelly and in this video I'm going to give you a complete explanation of how to replace ranges with arrays to speed up your code. So now we're going to look at the data. So this is the data that we're going to be using today. The data is in a table, but we're just going to treat it like a simple range. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to read through the range. So we're going to read directly from the worksheet. And how we do this is as follows. So we declare a range variable like this. And then we set the variable to be assigned to a range cell, so a cell with the data, and then we use current region, and this will give us all the adjacent data. So it's the same as pressing Control Shift 8 on most keyboards, or Control Asterisks. So once we have the range, what we want to do is we want to read through each of the rows, and we do this using a for loop. So to access the current cell, we use range.cells, and we use i, so i is always the current row. And then we use the second number is whichever column. So in this case, it's one for the names. And then we use next i to just complete the for loop. So we'll run this code, and you'll see what appears is a list of all the names from the first column. So if you were new to VBA, you probably think that there's quite a long-winded method of copying all the array items from the range. So this is typically how you would expect it to work. We'd have to redimension the array. So in other words, create an array, set the size to the size of the range, and then we'd have to copy in all the individual items. And how we'd have to go about doing that is by using a two-dimensional for loop, or a nested for loop, because it's a two-dimensional array. And you can see that this takes a lot of code, and it wouldn't really be faster because the big problem that we have here is that we're copying every item from the worksheet. But we'll see in a moment that we've got an actual much better way of doing it. But it's good to see this method first so you see the real advantage that we have. So when we get to this line, what we would do is just do array is assigned to whatever's at that position. So you can see that this code is very, very long-winded. Now we can actually do all this very easily in VBA. And how we do it is as follows. We can get rid of the dim line and we can just say array equals range that dot value. And then we actually don't need the for loop at all. So just in one line, we can assign the whole range into an array. And if we run the code, we co we'll have a look in the watch window and see what exactly we, we were getting. So let's view the watch window, all V H, or we can do shift F9 as I'm doing in this case and Let's have a look in our array and see what we've got. You can see it's got the headers there. You can see it's got the data from the first row. It's got the data from the second row and so on. So you can see in just one line, we can copy to the array. And why this is so good is because using the array is much faster than using a range. So we can actually shorten this code here by just reading directly from the current region into the array. So we just declare the array beforehand and we just say array is assigned to the current region. You can see that we can assign from the range to the array in one line of code. So this is very useful indeed and very powerful. Now we're going to read through the array using a for loop. We use L bound to get the first element and U bound to get the final element. And the one simply means that I mention. Now in the case of these arrays, there's two dimensions, basically rows and columns. So one gives us the row and two will give us the column. Now we're going to print out the name and we're going to print out the amount. So we use I1 and I5. So when we run this code, you'll see the results that we got. You can see the name and you can see the amount beside it. So this is quite simply how we read through the array once we have the data there. Now one thing to keep in mind that's very important is that when we assign the values from the range to the array, 
the values in the array are just a copy. They're a copy in memory. So if you change the values in the array, it doesn't affect the original range. So we're going to demonstrate that here by, by basically taking the amount and we're going to subtract a million from each amount. And when we run this code, we'll be able to see that it changed in the array, but it didn't change in the worksheet. Now we started L bound, you see I added plus one there, and the reason is that we don't want to use the header when we're going through to make the change. So we don't want to use the header row. So let's look at the array. We, can, we have two in our watch window. We'll delete one of them. You can see if we look down at some of the items here. So that's the header. We didn't make any change there. And you can see that at array 25, we have minus 882035. And on the next one, minus 88571. So you can see that all the amounts have changed in this case. Now, what we want to do is we want to check our worksheet then and see if any change was made on the worksheet. So if we look at the worksheet, you can see all the amounts are just like the original. So this is a very important point here. The point is that when we change the value in the array, it doesn't change the original values in the worksheet. If we want to change them, we have to write the data back. Now we're going to look at writing out the data from the array to the worksheet. So normally you'll read in the array, you'll make some changes like we've done here, and then you'll want to write the output somewhere else. So let's have a look at how we write the entire array out to a range. Now you can see that the way we do it is actually quite simple. It's basically like the code that we use to read from the range to the array, except it's just reversed. Now we'll run this code and let's see exactly what happens when we run it. And you'll see that it wrote out all the array to the worksheet. Now the beauty of this is that Again, it just took one line to copy everything from the array to the worksheet. So that's the real beauty of using arrays. As well as being fast, it's very easy to read from the range and then from the range back to the array. Now, one thing that we want to do here is that I've used H1 to M18. Now, obviously, in real life, what we want to do is have some dynamic range because every time the size of our data could change. And we don't want to have to change the code every time that the data, that we get some new data, for example. So this is how we go about doing this. Now I'm doing this, we can do it in one line, but I'm going to do it a bit longer just to kind of show exactly how it works. So we get the row count. So the row count is basically the number of elements in the array at one. So one, remember, is the row. So U bound array one is the number of rows we have. And U bound array two is the number of columns that we have. So we've got the column count, we've got the row count. And what we do is we basically say the first cell that we want to write the data to, and then we just resize to the size of the array. So row count and column count. And that's all we've got to do. Now let's run this code again, and we'll see that it works exactly as the last time we ran. So we've put a line of code in, you can see, and that line of code, what it does is it will delete the contents. So we put in our breakpoint here, and let's run this code. Now you can see that it deleted it, and we'll step through the next line, get the column count, it's six, and now we're going to resize, and we're going to assign it to the array. And you can see that it wrote out everything. Now what we want to do is, to make it a bit better, is we want to see the difference that this makes doing the resize. So let's extend our original data. So we're adding two more records. And this will just show that without changing the code at all, it adapts to the new size of the data. So we'll get rid of our breakpoint here, and we'll run the code and we'll see exactly what happens. And you'll see that it has the extra two rows. So this code is very flexible. It can deal with the fact that the original size is different. So no matter what rows are in the original data, it will resize based on them in the array and write out the array. In this video, we looked at using an array instead of a range to read through the data. The reason we do this is because it is exponentially faster and it requires very little extra code. 
If you liked the video, please hit the like button as this really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to hear about my latest videos, then click on the subscribe button below. Now don't forget to download the free Excel VBA Vitals cheat sheet from the description. Just go to the description and click on the link. So if you've got any comments, questions or queries, please leave them in the comments section below. So see you on the next video.